Carnival Cruise Lines has run into yet another problem with one of its ships. This time it's the Carnival Legend. Now the company says there's an issue with the ship's thrusters and that's affecting its sailing speed. Now because of that, there was a canceled stop for a seven-day cruise which is due back in Florida on Sunday. The incident comes just days after the Carnival Dream had trouble with one of its generators. That ship remains docked at St. Martin with some of the passengers still on board. They're waiting to be flown home tonight. So are these issues making vacationers think twice before taking a cruise? Fox 11's Alex Ronaldo spoke with some area travel agents about what they're seeing now. At Ambassador Travel in Oshkosh, cruises are becoming increasingly popular. But owner Susie Lieb says recent trouble for the Carnival Cruise Line does concern her customers. She says first-time cruisers especially will call her about it. Now they have questions or concerns about is this really for me or should I really take a cruise? Is it safe? Lieb says she's honest about the risks of cruising, but says on the whole, they're minimal. Do things happen? Yes. Um, but statistically, cruising is very safe. According to Lieb, people rarely end up canceling or changing their plans. Stephen Yonke owns Blue Avenue Travel in Appleton. He agrees with Lieb, saying accidents are as likely to happen on a resort as they are on a ship. You look at the number of cruise passengers, which is 25 million in a year, the percentage that it affects is very, very small. In a statement, Carnival Cruise Line told Fox 11 each time something goes wrong on a ship, a team of experts will assess the incident. Their assessment will identify new solutions and measures that we can implement to further ensure the safety and reliability of our fleet. This is the highest priority for our company and spans the fleets of both Carnival Cruise Lines and the entire Carnival Corporation. The travel agents say they're comfortable working with Carnival. They certainly take care of the customers that are on the ships and do the best they can when, when they're in some of these situations. Lieb says if you do book a cruise, there are some things to be aware of. Just be sure to get travel insurance and always bring your passport. If something would have to happen, if they need to fly back to the U.S., a valid passport is very helpful. In Oshkosh, Alex Ranallo, Fox 11 News. And according to Lieb, some customers worry about getting the norovirus or food poisoning while they're on the cruise ships. Now, she says you hear a lot about that because cruise lines are required to report norovirus while resorts on the land are not.